All right, bro, just tell me we're getting a break from the emotions because the last two episodes obliterated me. Roll it. Can I leave? <laughs> But we're back with some more One Piece reactions today. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster Ice Shinobi. We're still in Fishman Island here in One Piece, and things are getting dire. We're, I think we've concluded this sort of backstory with the origin of the Sun Pirates and everything that happened with Queen Odohime. And now all of the Straw Hats have seen Horty Jones. Luffy sees this obstacle that stands in front of them, and it's time, I hope, to get going. Because as much as I loved this backstory and all the lore that we got with the founding of Fishman Island in general, I'm ready for some action, baby. We're gonna hop right into it, drop a fat like on this one, and let's get started. Man, them stepping on Odohime's image now like means that much more. How much she meant to them. Oh my gosh. Horty's on the air. Yeah, so the one that would kill the assassin of Odohime. Oh my gosh. He would have even more like leverage in terms of, of convincing people. Oh, yeah, we'll be destroyed. Okay. With him as the king? What about the emperor that, that protects this island now? The one that took over after Whitebeard. Like, do they care about what's going on? Do they even know? Strict and discipline. He'll just make sure that nobody has any, yeah, friendly relation with humans. Ugh. But he fills them with people from... Oh, okay. Oh, I guess Fishman. Man. It's like reversing everything Odohime built. And Fisher Tiger. And it was for nothing. He's using, like, everything she did against them, too. Man, I feel bad for everybody. Like, all the Fishmen. Every single one of them. It's so back and forth in their minds. They're like, who do we trust anymore, man? Of course they would default to, to following Horty and, and hating humans. And he truly doesn't have hope. Yeah. I see why. But that doesn't mean destroying everything and restarting is the, the option or the answer. Oh my god, they killed Neptune in front of everyone? No shot. No shot. Because of us. Yeah, kind of. Oh, Mosses. <laughs> oh, you have no idea, Jimbe. It was a very complicated situation. Three hours. For oh, he's going to say he's going to execute Neptune. Oh, shoot. He could do it now, but he likes to build tension. He's equating this to Roger stuff? I mean, yeah, it's like a new age for Fishmen. Dang. The great Fishmen era. He's got big dreams. I'll give him that. The letter from the social... Wait. Wait, what? Is he going to rip it up? Oh, my gosh, bro. For a second, I thought it was like fake or like it was never real. He's going to destroy all the signatures and the original letter. Is he like hunting down everybody that signed? Oh, my gosh. Woo. Yeah, he's going to hunt them down. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't matter if they step on it or not now. So even if they already stepped on it, they're on the list. They die. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> he's just naming them. Wait, wouldn't there be thousands upon thousands of names? So many people signed. Man, to hear your name read out in front of the entire kingdom, though. Oh! He talking to us? That's us! Oh my gosh! Man, Zoro's gotta be pissed being tied up like that. I mean, Usopp and Brook too, but Zoro even more so. Do it? Do what? He's gonna give them a timer. Where's Papagoo? They're gonna raise the water and drown him? He is putting a timer on it to draw in the straw hats. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gonna piss Luffy. I'm looking at Luffy's face, bro. 400 milli. It was, it was lower. No, 400 milli is insane. That's higher than kids now. We beat kid. Who's the highest rookie now? B so the timer starts now. Ordy Jones is a master of keeping people engaged by setting this time limit. It all goes down today. Oh my gosh. Dude, I see the princes so differently now after that whole backstory. I have a lot more respect for them, even if they aren't the strongest. 
All right, I think we have this entire, uh, we're gonna have this entire sequence sort of laid out here. I kind of like Zoro, Usopp, and Brooke being sort of restrained for the first part of it. Because, I mean, inevitably, they do get to them, but what goes down there is up to the show to decide. I feel like Hordy still has a lot up his sleeve, though, aside from trying to assassinate Neptune in front of everybody. Yeah, he wants to make it a big, uh, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. World with an iron grip. So that if anybody steps out of line in terms of trying to form a bond with humans, they're done. Leader has a, a decent amount of influence. God dang, bro. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, Brooke is the one I'm most worried about. I mean, they can all only hold their breath that so long. Brooke, like, it, it doesn't matter if he's underwater, he's just obliterated. And surely they can find some way out of it. Psychic power? What kind of power spike is this, Usopp? Okay, I don't like the way this looks right now with his nose. Oh my god. Oh, they thought Brook was dead? He is a skeleton. Skeletal remains! Oh my gosh! They actually think he's dead? Yeah, you can get to jump on him. But instead he moved to troll them, let me guess. Oh my gosh, bro. Brook. Ay, ay, ay. Oh wait, so instead of untying him, he chased them? Oh wait, they're not tied up yet. Of course, Usopp gets the, the worst part of it. Eventually they just grew brave enough. He just overplayed his hand. Ay, ay, ay. Why would Zoro not get up right there? It's just three regular guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Classic. It is still a slippery slope though that they're underwater. Brother! <laughs> His eyes! Change the Robin's eyes. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of Robin, bro, we never even got closure on what she found. Nope. Oh, it's real! Let's go! What does it say? This is different. Finally! How long ago? A letter of apology. From Roger. Doesn't Roger leave all of them? Joy boy. Who the hell is that? Is that Roger? Is it a pin name? We cut away already! Why? Why did I wait seven episodes? <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Some information, at least. A letter of apology. Oh, oh my god, bruh. There's no way that it, it went to his head. So jump to 400 after, yeah, Marine Ford. I'm honestly shocked it didn't go to like 500, 600, because Marine Ford was a big deal. It's not easily increasing again after 300. Oh, interesting. You gotta do some crazy stuff to get it higher. She's gonna go to him. Oh no. Oh no. I I just know that at, at some point during all of this, the Sea Kings are gonna come into play. Wait, why do we have to wait? Uh, the princess should stay safe. She doesn't have a grip on like whatever power she has yet. True, actually. Yeah, there's nothing you can do against Sea Kings that enormous. So that she wouldn't miss that. She's the key to it all. Mm. They kind of have them like stun locked. Mm -hmm. You gotta plan out. Maybe use her as bait. This is what I'm saying. She doesn't even know how to use it. Maybe we figure it out. Oh, shoot, the music. Yeah, Luffy's ready. He's ready to go beat some bad guys up. Take care of coward. Why? Oh, wait, actually true. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, man. Yeah, if humans do it, it looks even... Oh, my gosh. I didn't think about that. This is so complicated. It has to be Jimbei. Dang, bro. They can't just stand aside. Yeah, he's not going to stand there and watch his crew die. Bum, 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 bum. 
Oh no, guys. Oh no. No. Oh, this is a waste of time. I understand why Jinbei says this, though. That man's. <laughs> He's got the fire inside of him, baby. The same one that powered Ace. I like that. He saw Ace in him. Oh my god, Luffy and Jimmy are gonna fight. He's not Captain Kid. I'm so sorry. All right, so we got a fat bounty increase. Finally, you got to see what Robin saw. It was a poneglyph, but different from what we've seen before. It was an apology from someone named Joy Boy. Again, I'm guessing that's like Roger's alias. Maybe one we haven't seen, like a nickname. But I don't know. It's not It's not giving us much at all. But what is the, the message even apologizing for? 549, we go, we go on. Call me the submarine. Who called you that, Usopp? Uh, he's back with his lies, man. Classic. I actually forgot Brooke can run on water. I feel like that has to come into play. <laughs> Brooke is 100 percent faster. <laughs> Zoro's gonna lose his mind with these two. He just wants quiet. He wants peace and quiet. Yeah. Oh, for real. Do what? Is this a prank? Does Brooke have some power we don't know about? Nah, this is all troll. What is this? Is it breath? Wait, it's his soul. What? He can expel himself into a dimple like gas? Oh my gosh. Wait, that's sick. I was going to say, this is his power spike. The slump, like a creative slump. Concert tickets unsold. My boy went through it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but he actually went through it. The trials and tribulations of a rock star. Bro prayed. And it came true? Boy, oh God works fast. How did it, what, I, that? That's the all the explanation we get? Soul? <laughs> Is he bleeding? There is no way! Oh my god, he turned this gift into, into profiting off of his horniness! Oh my god, all men are the same, bro. And Sanji would be jealous. Oh yeah, back to the prize fight. I don't know power levels here. Jinbei claps Luffy, no? I don't know, Luffy's power spiked like crazy over the course of the time skip. Maybe pre-time skip. I mean, Luffy's got hockey now. I, oh, he doesn't even want to fight him. He just wants to circumvent him. I, I, but I'm glad we got the, the whole backstory because I get now why he says Luffy can't be the one to do it. It makes sense. It's not like a pride thing. He's looking out for the, the future of the island. But Luffy, on the other hand, is looking out for his crew. He doesn't want to have to just leave it up to Jinbei to stop Horty alone and save his crew. Manipulating the water. I thought that was hockey. Oh, so he actually uses water. Oh! Every living thing is made of water. Okay, finally we get an explanation with of how his karate works. This is the water inside you. My God. But Luffy can hit back. Oh, no, nah, man. Luffy's power spiked. Jinbei has age and experience, too. Absolutely not. I don't think he wants to use all that. Who's walking? Oh, Robin. Oh, my gosh. Was she talking about what she saw? Okay, dude. Who are you? <laughs> Oh no, no, Sanji! Oh no! Oh my god, he's gonna die! Okay, they traded. I like how Robin just slipped out of there. <laughs> oh, dumb, dumb, and dumber. She just comes in. Oh man, I love Robin. Oh. Just the, the sound of her voice. It's something else. The treasure. Meanwhile. Uh, the prince is gonna fight. 
Oh, wow. They're actually kind of taking them down. Yeah, but the Horde give them any pills. The pills make all the difference in all of this. That's what made a Horde able to even take on Zoro in water. Yep, you're no better if you kill them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And a boy doing a prince's duties. I'm going to fight all the underlings of Horde. Damn! Those are some fighting words! Screw you! <laughs> oh my god, wait, he clapped him! Oh my goodness! And a boy, Fukuboshi! Oh my goodness! I thought the prince. I mean, I figure the princes are strong, but they're also fighting for everything Otohime's built, and we know what's behind that now. Just sucks seeing uh, this this sort of brick wall, Luffy and Jinbei are at. But he already got beat. Easy peasy. I mean, this is only one faction of the new Fishman Pirates, though. They should rally with Jimbe. Shirahoshi is the key to all of this, though. Showing the island that she can protect them with what her power is. And not it being up to Luffy and them. I like it. He's not planning on winning their hearts, bro. The cut. That was from Zoro? Oh, mate, that's foreshadowing, though. He's still, he's still hurting from that. Oh, man, he's going to OD at some point. I guarantee it. What does an OD on these look like? What kind of monster does he turn into? <laughs> but of course it's not. He's just down like 20. The ray of hope. So what is we're going to do in this form? How can he help? Is he, can he even like physically move things? Yeah, where's Papagoo? Oh, he gets help from him. Yes. One sword is enough. Yeah, just sure, bring him a sword, not Papagoo. Can Brook carry something? Oh, no, he gets Papagoo to carry it, I think. Yeah, because there's no way he can, like, hold things in this form. It's Papagoo. The hero of the arc! Future hero of the arc, I guarantee it! I'm a betting man! <laughs> but he's so out of the loop. Oh my god, he's gonna scare him! Why is he talking like this? Brook, leave him alone! He's just a little fish! Little starfish! This is Brook's final form. He's actually just trolling with him whenever they need time. Oh. oh, he's not that scared. Never mind. Ay, ay, ay. What do you mean, wait? You know what you were doing, Brook. You goober. I don't have time. Then why were you messing around? That's gonna take forever now. Yeah, after. Well, I mean, Luffy missed the whole story, so of course he can't think about it. God dang it. Yeah. It's a very interesting scenario. I kind of like it. They can't just go in there with brute force and obliterate Horty. It has to be a fish man that does it, that stands up against them. And it has to be Jinbei. He's the only one strong enough, I think. Or Shirahoshi. Or uh, Jinbei and Shirahoshi are the keys. Shirahoshi just doesn't have her powers under control yet. Mm -hmm. Symbolic. Even if they're not behind Horde, he's still seeing that changes things. God dang. It all comes together. Oh. Yep, true. What else are they supposed to do? Just watch him take over? It's a slippery slope. Oh. Oh, God, that already feels like quite a while ago. Luffy cares a lot about Jimbei. I love when Sanji gets serious, man. <laughs> Helped him when his back was against the wall is an understatement, man. Jimbei was him. Jimbei is him. He's trying to repay the favor to Jimbei. Is there some middle ground where they can both fight together? I don't know. It's hard to explain it to the people. They just see a human fighting a fishman. It's just it's like he it's like he wins me over and then just throws all our progress out the window. I know, Nami. I know, me too. Oh shoot! Guys, come on! Come to some understanding! God, Luffy kind of scare me now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh! 
What sign you said meant nothing? Where is the solution? Okay, so I think I said at the beginning of these two, I'm like, all right, let's get into it. We got to get there and fight Horty. But Jimbei makes a very, very, very good point. And so does Luffy. There has to be some compromise. And I'm guessing Nami's going to be the one with it or Shirahoshi. But we both have to go there. It's not one or the other. Luffy needs to fight just to save his crew. Jimbei needs to fight for the island. But how can you portray that to the whole island? How can you show them that Luffy isn't fighting him just because he's a fish man? He's fighting him because he's trying to take away the freedoms of the fish people to choose who they want to follow and what they want to believe in. How do you show that? It's, it's, it's such a complicated socioeconomic scenario. And I love that we found ourselves deep in the middle of it. It's not just good versus evil it's so much more than that that's why one piece is just oh my god dude one piece is different bro it is just different so i don't know we gotta find some middle ground somewhere shirahoshi is easily the key to it all she's the one that holds the complete and utter power over horty jones by being able to control the sea kings that changes everything and she's gonna need to figure that out fast it's a good thing luffy started getting her out of her shell out of her shell whenever he did because she needs to kind of get it together bro i'm not gonna lie that's been it for my reaction today i hope you did enjoy make sure you are subscribed to the channel check below if you aren't because you're not going to want to miss anything else we're only like halfway through the show at this point and it's probably only getting longer as we speak but that's been it for me i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you next time peace peace